Welcome guys. Today we are going to learn about the basics of HTML. Let's first start with the layout of HTML. Now talking about the basic layout of HTML. First let's delete all of this code. In the first line we have doc type HTML. Doc type HTML declares that the HTML is an HTML5 document. Now what this means is that this document is the latest version of HTML which is HTML5. The next tag we have is HTML. HTML is the root element of every uh, HTML document. Inside HTML tag we write other tags like the head tag and the body tag. Inside the head tag we store all the metadata about the web website. What does metadata mean? Metadata is the data which uh, cannot be seen but it defines what the document is. Inside the body tag we have all the elements that is visible while we uh, are browsing the website. This can be anything like uh, if we write something here it is showing in the output. Now talking about the head element it stores all the metadata about the website. This means all the information about what the website does and what it is for is stored inside the head element. One of the most commonly used uh, element inside head is the title tag. The title tag sets the title of the website. Now if we write hello world inside the title tag it will show up as a title of the website. Just like we have code in compiler as our title for our compiler. Inside the body tag we write all the elements that is visible while browsing the website. If we create an element for a paragraph and write anything inside uh, the paragraph it will show up in our output which is the main website. Now let's talk about some of the common tags in HTML. Here we have a paragraph tag which we can use to display multiple sentences in a paragraph format. Here we can just simply write anything we want and it will be shown as a paragraph in the output. Now let's create another paragraph element and write something else. Let's say this is my first website. Now, as you can see here, we uh, we have created two paragraphs in two different lines. This is because a paragraph is a block element. We will learn about block and inline elements later on. But uh, for now, we can say that a block element is something that takes the whole width of the website. We can use a similar tag, which is span to create element that does not take the whole width of the website. Here let's say hello again and let's create another span element and write this is my first website. As you can see the text comes in a single line unlike paragraph. The next tag we have are the heading tags. Heading, there are mainly six different types of heading tags from h1 to h6. First uh, is the h1. Hello world. As you can see h1 are uh, really big. They are actually the biggest heading tag you can uh, make, you can use. And h6 is the smallest. Hello world. So you can see the size difference. Other tags are also uh, progressing in different sizes. Now, as you can see here, uh, we have different types of uh, heading tags based on their sizes. H1 is the largest and H6 is the smallest. So next, let's talk about HTML attributes. HTML attributes are the properties that are given to the HTML elements. 
For this, let's take an example of a simple tag img, which means image. This tag is used to uh, display an image in the website. Inside the image tag, we are going to pass an attribute, as you can see here, that is called src. src means the source of the file that we are going to pass. Inside the, the src, let's uh, take a uh, link of an inside the uh, source of the image let's go and copy the link of the image and paste it there as we can see here the image is displayed on the website now this image is too large for me to uh, view so we are going to pass another attribute which is the width attribute and set it to 200 pixels and now the image shrinks to 200 pixels this is how you can use uh, attributes in html elements now let's look further upon the image tag if we remove the source of the image from this tag the image is not displayed when this happens we can use the alt tag alt attribute to display anything uh, instead of the image so let's say image dot png and if the source is not provided this image dot png will be displayed and if the source is provided simply the uh, image will be displayed uh, click me it is going to redirect us to coding.com this fib pass uh, another attribute which is href and inside this uh, if we pass another attribute which is href and inside this we write a website let's say https hyphen slash slash coding dot com and click on the next tag is the hyperlink tag to create a hyperlink tag we simply write a which represents an anchor inside the tag we write something that we want to display or something that can be clicked to redirect to another document or another website here let's say click me now if we uh, pass another attribute which is href which means html reference uh, this will as we can see here, Ram has the ordered list of uh, one, Sham has the ordered list of two, and Hari has the ordered list of three. In this way, we can create uh, two different types of lists, UL and OL, which means or unordered list and ordered list. it will show up as a number by default inside here we can write uh, ram it's created which is not ordered by a number or a symbol it simply has a dot for all of the elements but inside the ordered list if you create a list uh, element there is a list display in the list so let's say apple then another we can write banana then let's say mango as we can see here to next we are going to discuss about lists in html there are mainly two types of lists the first one is unordered list and the second one is ordered list to add components inside the list we can use the li tag and inside the li tag we can write what we want list which will be an ordered list and inside the ordered list we are going to add three different names of fruit the first will be apple then we will add banana then lastly we will add 
a mango. As you can see here, we have created a list of fruits and inside the, this list there is another list which is apple, banana and mango. Let us take an another list. Uh, another list uh, inside which we will create a component which will be fruits. Now inside this component we are going to create another in HTML we can create nested lists it just means creating a list inside another list.